question is our life is nothing but belief systems all beliefs are based on unverified facts then finally we accept is true so the question now is faith based on verifiable facts <laughs> without faith no liberation shraddha is faith based on verifiable facts okay is the question correct right uh yeah so now let me tell uh, uh, one exam one example ramkrishna parvam says to say kamini and kanchana the money should not be touched so vivekananda wanted to verify whether ramkrishna parvam says saying truth or not mm -hmm. he puts a coin below the pillow of ramkrishna parvam sir when he goes for a bath and when ramkrishna parvam sir goes and sleeps he jumps because there is a coin below the pillow kanchana so then we we can get a conviction oh ramkrishna parvam sir is living the truth what is saying okay so in sanatan dharma shraddha is based on two factors belief is always based on unverifiable factor so atma you don't know okay but what is required is you need something which you can verify so the two independent verifiable facts what is given in sanatan dharma is shastra and sadguru so only thing which you can verify is the characteristics what is taught in shastra of sthita pranarakshana or quality love compassion clarity is it reflected in sadguru okay is sadguru living the life which is taught in scriptures so that's why two independent verification is given one is scripture and sadguru so that is faith the faith is based on the verifiable fact that sadguru's life is into shastra shastra is into sadguru and shastra is vedanta or veda so this is verifiable to your sense organs whatever you can see the life of sadguru and you can like see the scripture read scripture and then understand this very so then you say oh sadguru has become sadguru is peaceful based on scriptural teaching okay and scriptures are saying this so that is something i can apply in my life so that way faith is based on verifiable facts sadguru and shastra so then there's another support here what is called satsanga so what happens is sadguru's teachings are helping many people some people so you can see the transformation in the life of people with the teaching of sadguru and shastra so that's also verifiable for you in fact somebody gets benefit from teacher of sadguru that gives you more confidence oh this will work this is something which is not just vague this reality so like that sadguru shastra and satsanga is what you verify before you accept somebody as sadguru and that is called faith before you accept sadguru you can do whatever verification sadguru shastra satsanga you can do all verification and once you verify that To the best of your ability, then the faith is developed. Does it answer question? Yeah. There is no other verification possible. And also, one more thing which will happen is, whenever Sadguru teaches, you it touches you somewhere because it is in tune with the inner inner reality. You may not know, you may not realize the truth, but you know it is not false. the words of sadguru is touching your heart somewhere because deep inside your heart you know it's true so that's where three independent verifications are given sadguru's life in tune with scriptures scriptural teaching reflected in sadguru sadguru's life is in tune with scriptures so these are independent verification facts then satsang people in satsang are one way or the other way getting benefit of teaching of sadguru so then the words of sadguru is touching me somewhere inside 
So these are all verified facts. That's why faith is based on verified facts. To the best of your ability. Beyond your ability, you can't do anything. Else. And here, we, one more, one important thing we have to understand. Sanatana Dharma plays a lot of importance on reference for Vedanta or Veda. The reason is simple. Tomorrow somebody may come and say, I am realized, I am enlightened. This is the truth. What is the reference? There is no reference. <laughs> so, you have to trust his words as reference. Sanatana Dharma says, no. Somebody comes and tomorrow anybody can come and say something. He has to, his understanding should be verifiable with the science. The science is Vedanta, spiritual science. So some independent verification is possible for you. Otherwise, you have to believe the words of somebody. That's why in Japan, some one master said, I am realized, I am enlightened. Then he had a lot of followers. And then one he said, uh, around 2000, year 2000 or something, world will end. So let us, before the world ends, let us all commit suicide, then we will get, uh, we will get liberated. So many of them committed mass suicide. So then what will happen? If there is no independent verification possible, it will become a sort of believe my word. That's all. Again, we will go to belief system. Faith is not based on the words of a person. Faith is based on a verifiable science. Today, some scientist comes and says, I discovered a new thing. But new thing he has to give with reference to science only. There are many hundreds of scientists who have worked on that. With reference to this, I have found out this. Similarly, any enlightened being, Vedanta is a science, spiritual science. Many rishis, have, not one person, many rishis have contributed to that. So, when somebody comes and says something, I have discovered something, it should be in tune with what is Vedanta, what is a science. It cannot be out of science. So, that way, Sanadana Dharma has a, what we call as safeguard or rather a safety mechanism by which nobody can come and just say, I am enlightened, I will listen to my words. That's a verification possible based on scriptures. The words of a master should match with scriptures. Scripture should match with the words of the master. Maybe, may not be 100%, but at least it should be a cross reference possible. Then the master should, the teaching should reflect on somebody who will get benefit. So then you feel so, it has real benefit in society. So Satsanga, Sadguru, Shastra. These are three independent verifications available for somebody to develop the faith. In the absence of that faith, in the absence of this, many people now you have heard, many people following some guru and getting uh, there's a heartburn, there's a confusion because they don't understand the safety mechanism given in Sanatana Dharma. Safety mechanism is Sadguru and Shastra. The Guru's life should be the, uh, the Guru's life should be living teaching of scriptures. Guru should be living the scriptures. Then you can verify scriptures and believe it. That's an independent verification given. This is what is called, what is given in Sanatana Dharma. Is that answer clear? Any questions are there? Yeah, I'm saying the scriptures, uh, scriptures, when you say scriptures, shastras, see, every religion has a founder. Sanatana Dharma is no founder. Sanatana Dharma is a collection of teachings of various masters. It's like a science. So who, if you ask the question, who founded physics? Who founded chemistry? There's no founder of physics and chemistry. Because many scientists have contributed to physics. Similarly, Sanatana is Sanatana Dharma. Many spiritual scientists have contributed to that. So that is based on science called Vedanta. Whereas other religions are based on the word of one person. Word of one person. He says, my word is true. So now you have to believe. So if you believe, you become followers. Whereas Sanatana Dharma, many, many scientists, spiritual scientists have worked together and they have contributed a science called Vedanta, Vedas. Okay? So there is no founder there. So then, if anybody realizes something, he cannot contradict uh, research of, uh, uh, discovery of some uh, 10 rushes or 20 rushes. No, no, I have come out with something new. How it fits into other things or how it contradicts you have to be very clear. So that way, Sanatana Dharma gives a double check. Sadhguru, 
and Shastra. And then also it gives a reference with respect to Satsang. Is the answer clear? Okay. So you have any questions on this? Follow up on this? Any follow-up question on this? Okay, so this question is closed. So, okay, shall you close this question?